in Soviet Russia, parasite infect you! Yeah, but that happens everywhere, Yakov Smirnov. That's what they do. They infect people. In Soviet Russia, the fuck you! Doesn't even make any sense, Yakov Smirnov. Doesn't make any sense! Alright, I want a new campaign. Yes. I want to see if maybe I could do things a little bit differently. In the beginning, to not fuck myself so hard a little bit later on. It's the same dog. Like, these are different clones of the same girl that keep trying to survive in this wilderness. And it's the same dog that just fucking... He always finds them. And brings the backpack of the last one that died to the new one. It's why it happens this way in the beginning. It's the only thing that makes sense. Rogue Cop wants to know how much the game costs. You should ask Batvision. Because he bought it for me. There we go, gotta hold it. I feel like there might have been some shit that I didn't collect over here. I'll get the saplings again. I know I did that. I'm gonna leave that feather there. Oh, I'm gonna pick it up, I guess. And what we'll do is we'll make the insulated boots right now. Alright. If I can. Insulated boots and pants. Boots and pants. Boots and pants. Boots and pants. I can only make one. Apparently, I didn't have enough shit. But maybe they gave enough. They put enough. The Already with this shit? The wolf is here? Get out of here. Where? I kind of like it too, uh, Rogue Cop. The art style, yeah. Oh, it said wolf info. Okay, it was a sign. I'm an asshole. So you guys are saying I threw out the jar before? Like a dick? Re I really threw that jar out? Wow, what an asshole. Tuli is sailing the seven seas. Cool man, I'd probably do an Isaac run later on tonight, get to see how I feel. You know, I like me some sack. I'm gonna try to make those those boots. I need a stitching kit to do that. I'm gonna scour this place for supplies one last time. I always get annoyed in games like this when your inventory is 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 super limited. And I know that that's more realistic than it would be. But, uh, I mean, we're talking about, like, little pieces of grass and shit. At least it's done by slot and not weight limitation. I really fucking despise weight limitations. I just... You know what? I'm playing a video game. Fuck off. That's why if I'm playing some kind of RPG where they allow you to uh, increase the amount of weight that you can carry, I usually go for that pretty early on. Alright. Let's enjoy this music for a minute here. <laughs> the plushie's here. It says, I read this as Flame in the Hood and was expecting it to be about gang wars. 
And I was distracted enough by that to slam into this rock. We're getting off to a real good fucking start here. Hood Wars. Flame in the hood. <laughs> I like that. Alright, here's the true test of skill. The White Water Rapids. Fuck. Alright, that was good. We did good. Chat, are you rip again or is that? Oh, thank God. Okay. Thought I was having that fucking problem again. I got you into playing Isaac and FTL, cool man. Oh, good. Well, they're great games. They're both great games. Glad you're enjoying them. Hi, Carlo. Carlo, this is the flame in the flood. Brand new fucking game made just for jabronis. I like how my dog catches my staff. When I throw it to him. He's a good dog, if, if not very disloyal. I mean, he leaves my corpse when I die in a matter of seconds. Carlo, that's exactly what it is, man. A roguelike RPG survival. Kinda reminds me of, uh, Don't Starve. Right, uh, as Rogue Cop points out, there are checkpoints, so... Take the lumber in the hopes that I'm gonna be able to repair my, uh... My raft with it at some point down the line. You know, they started me with corn the last time. In that starting area, I didn't, I didn't get any corn kern this time around. So, hopefully, there's some shit to eat here. Moldy lumps. Mm. My appetite has soared. Now they gave me two pieces of flint, which is interesting because that's what I needed to craft that knife. So let's see if I can go ahead and craft that knife right now. Braided cord, I should be able to craft that. If I'm not mistaken. I am mistaken, huh? No, I'm not. Why... Does she look like a horrible swamp donkey sausage chasm? Well, it's a post-apocalyptic, post-nuclear war survival game, so everybody's mutated. Alright, knife boys! I got the knife, I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Can I equip that bitch? It's in my tool belt. Basic tool, functional for making simple traps and skinning animals. Made with flint, which is abundant in camps. Alright. So now we know how to look for flint when we need it. I'm sure the knife has a stupid fucking durability on it. So I'll have to be making like 50 of them. I don't know, Carlo, it's not hammer time just yet. Not finding a lot of shit to eat. I was hoping to find some corn over here. Like a tight what, Carlo? Like a tight what, man? The 
suspense is killing me like a tight what? Forever Skeptical says 50 Knives is a good band name. What kind of music would they play, Forever Skeptical? I feel like the music would get harder and more intense with the amount of knives that went up. Like a thousand knives would just be like some kind of fucking thrash metal. Black death metal is a, a, a million knives. 50 knives, that could be like some kind of emo new age bullshit. Goth rock. I thought I heard Stairway to Heaven for a second. Don't do it. Don't do it, Scout. Scout, you suck. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, cattails. Maybe I can craft my insulated boots now. Let's find out. In before I get rammed in the titty cleavage by a boar while I'm doing this. Still need that stitching kit. That was the factor. That was the X factor. So what I did when uh, after I went offline was I uninstalled the Wild Island quest, thinking that that might have been the culprit in whatever issue I was going on. Ah, and the stitching kit, nice. Or maybe I should use it to make the jacket instead. Yeah, whatever. And equip. Nice, so it should be a lot harder for me to freeze now and shit like that. The food situation hasn't improved. Unfortunately. Um, very grateful for the fact that the cattails are stacking. Sumac. And I now have a schematic to create gas bombs. They're gonna be more effective than the ones from my fetid asshole. And we'll go ahead and take this opportunity to drink. Also, oh, I guess I only had the one. Alright, that's better, because when I'm in real dire straits, I can just chuck that jar. Really just scouring this place for supplies. Kind of lame that the tree won't kind of just phase, you know, become like uh, opaque or whatever, while, while, especially when there's shit to collect behind it. Wonder if there's a stack limit on items like 12 or something like that. Carlos suggests um, ejaculating into the jar and preserving the semen. I could see how that might help. If uh, there's a sperm bank somewhere along this river, I could maybe sell it for some coinage. Rez is here, hey man. It says the music reminds him of Tristan from Diablo. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I mean, I could the the fact that it's an isometric point of view could be contributing to that uh, comparison as well, as someone in chat earlier pointed out. It's like Diablo three without the demons. Carlo undervaluates my jizz. Dude, I shoot million dollar loads. Don't make that mistake again. Alright, so I'm wet. Must have been all the jizz talk in the chat. I got my pussy moist. 
Jesse Meow says someone at his school recently did a grunge cover of uh, Escape from the City, the Sonic song. Fantastic. I'd love to hear it, not. Oh, please, no! I did okay. Wow, that was a short little... Oh, did I miss an opportunity to disembark? I think I did. Fuck! This is so hard, guys. No! Oh, shit. Alright, so we took a lot of damage to the raft there. It's fine. K-Par wants uh, me and Vin to write a song called Million Dollar Loads. I think that's a fantastic idea. Well, you tell me that my loads aren't worth too much. But you don't know nothing about loads and such. I like my loads on her tits. I can't think of nothing rhyming with tits. I got the million dollar loads. Million dollar loads, baby. Yeah. Million dollar loads. I see my loads. Cost more than a penny. Million dollar loads. I got the million dollar loads, yeah, baby. Alright. I don't know if there's a point to stop here, especially since... Though I did pick up some pieces of wood, so let's see if we could do some... Some repairs here. Moderate repairs, gorgeous, yes. Thank you for allowing me to do that game. And I'm wondering what the point of gas is. Maybe we get like a an actual like motor on this boat at one at one time or another. Matei says you could stop anytime, Mike. Anytime you want. On the road again. I'm in a very musical mood right now. I think this game has put me in a very musical mood. I am enjoying the music very much, by the way. I know there was some criticism in the chat earlier. But I do feel like it's it's very appropriate. Oh! <laughs> I think the reason that there's so many places to repair your boat is because it's virtually impossible to avoid all the fucking shit in the river. Let's see what's going on here. A source of wild food? Oh, good! Yeah, let's stock up. What are you barking at, asshole? Alright, alright. So what I'm gonna do is build a fire here. Nice, okay. Uh, I'm gonna move some shit to the dog. Moldy lumps. I'm not gonna eat that right now. I'm gonna move that to the dog. Move this to the dog. Move the rags to the dog. I can't move anything else to the dog. Alright, make tinder. Okay. And now build the fire, right? Where's that fire at? Do I not have the requisite? Oh, I need lumber? That's the X Factor, okay. The X Factor! Oh, she picked up Poison Ivy because I couldn't see what I was fucking clicking on? Is that, is that what went on? Okay. Good thing Poison Ivy won't kill me, right? We're not gonna fuck with that boar this time. At all. 
I think it's just time to fucking to go. At the point where we see that boar. And I'm sure there's more shit to collect here. But uh, that boar ended my run last time, so I don't think we can really hang out and fuck with him. You know? But it looks like he's gone. Nope, not gone. Not gone at all. I don't know if there is a way to kill the boar. I would fucking love to, trust me. No, I don't have any way to kill- I have the knife, but that doesn't look like... It's a weapon. It looks like you could just use it for, for shit. No, I think I would need, like, a spear in order to do that, Carlo. Oh, fuck me. This is, guys, this is fucking ridiculously hard. Carlo, what's up with you and the hammer, man? Mm-hmm. 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 We may die in this little passage right here. You know, I think this might be the furthest I fucking made it. Actually. Apparently I'm not well equipped anymore. Some remnants of civilization here. Starving to death now. I would like to blame it on that boar, but there's no guarantee that there was going to be wood at that uh, place that I stopped. Can there please be wood in this in this place, though? Let me see if there's anything that I have that I can eat raw. Archon Zach's here. He wants to know if this is like a less shitty water world. Man, I love water world. It's a fun fucking movie, man. Alright, um... I guess I can eat the, uh... The corn raw. I, I really didn't want to. But uh, I don't have a choice. We'll consume the stack. I'm gonna eat a dandelion. You think I should be a real asshole and eat the moldy lumps? Nah. I don't want to be sick too. Let's sleep a little bit. Dirt foil says, eat dog. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna starve to death right now. Um, is there really nothing else I can eat here? It's over. It's over, folks. It's over. Yep. Great. What is this shit? Does it look like that because I'm dying? And she starved. And went right back in. Part of me shudder. Part of me swayed and walked to the end. With my hands, my blood, my sweat, and my tears. I'm holding up a lighter and waving it back and forth.
Well, that sucked. Broke up. The music was both well-timed and extremely unfitting. Alright, well. Tell you what, I'm done with this for now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to get a little better at the game. Before streaming it again. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it could be a pretty cool game. Uh, with a very, very big learning curve, obviously. The Toolies wants to play a co-op game. I, I'm, I'm going to stop the stream so I can get something to eat. Um, I'm not telling you I'm going to play a co-op game with you later. But uh, I don't really do that a whole lot with anybody. But... I might come back later tonight with something like, uh, with, like, Isaac. So. Come by for that, if you feel like it. If you got nothing going on. But, um, I'm gonna take a break here for sure. So I'll thank everybody for coming to hang out with me. Sick Today, Zuna, Carlo, Star Heaven, hey man, Bat Vision, Patuli. Plushy Rope Cup, everybody whose name I can read in the chat right now. Have a good night if I don't see you later. Thanks for coming, checking out this game with me. Had a good time.